welcome to this new series idea that's just taken form right now, just as soon as I hit record, it came to me. Spirit said, this is the new series, new YouTube smash hit. I'm gonna take the video vlog world by storm. It's called Yeshua said, and technically this is episode number three, but it is the debut issue or episode of Yeshua, Yeshua being fourth dimension aspect of Jesus, which is the third dimension, 3D body, Jesus. Of course, we know within the realms of light as Sananda, seventh dimensional emissary of light. So welcome to this inaugural debut episode of Yeshua Said. And he did say, the man old in days will not hesitate to ask a little child of seven, of seven days about the place of life, and he will live. For many who are first shall become last. For many who are first shall become last, and they shall become as a single one. Yeshua said that, that comes from Gospel of Thomas, straight from the Nag Hammadi codices that were discovered in 1945. This is way after Emperor Constantine and the organized religion, they, they couldn't get their grubby little control freak hands on these words of the master, the master emissary of light, but they could not distort it. These are the pure words. This is a little more complicated However, at least at first sight, to understand this saying of Jesus, man, the man old in days will not hesitate to ask a little child of seven days about the place of life, and he will live. For many who are first shall become last, and they shall become as a single one. So to understand that saying, I think, the Bible as a magical document, a quantum document, even. The prophet Isaiah tells us, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, a child of seven days. In all scriptural writings, the number seven symbolizes perfection, a state of completion. The world was completed in six days, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. The work was done. The state of completion of wholeness has been achieved. Isaiah was talking, of course, about the new state of consciousness. Your fifth dimensional consciousness, your new earth consciousness, which is, shall be born in people's awareness. After long struggles, people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine, light in the Bible invariably symbolizes divine knowledge, or more accurately, the source of divine knowledge. A man old in days is you, and it is I, it is we, it is us, it is the collective. We are old in days. Contrary to the spirit, we are held in a matrix of time, the ego, the satanic matrix of this fallen 3D planet Earth. We are old. Perhaps many of us tired, and then often suddenly we become aware of a new state of consciousness within us, always with, within us, 
always within you, your I am presence, your own divine truth matrix, a state of consciousness so new that we refer to it as a child, a child of seven days, a perfect child. We do not hesitate to ask this child, this new state of awareness, this new state of quantum consciousness. Our eyes are quantum computers. What we see impacts this 3D reality, this place of life. We already know the answer. We have discovered the stillness, a state of immortality. Little wonder that we shall live. We came into this world first, but now we are more than willing to give reins of our kingdom, our state of consciousness to this newfound awareness, to this child. We are willing to become second fiddle, to become last, to become as a single one with that which is born within us. Born to that awareness that is within us of the unity of all, of the state of consciousness that unites the collective, the law of one, unified field consciousness of quantum love. The mind of God is the quantum field. Science has caught up with the mystics and now no one can deny the truth of the mind of all, mind of God, the heaven within you, your quantum kingdom of heaven that is now and forever. Amen. Namaste. Namaskaram.